Let's jump right into it. The daily top five. Joe, take us through the daily top five. Always hard to pick top five moments from a big day of action like this one, but coming in at number five on the charts, a former pipe master, Kieran Perot, coming to his last event of his CT career. He ends up dislocating his shoulder, packing a pit. It was tough to see him go out this way, Aki. It really was, you know. It's just not the way you want to go out. He dislocated his shoulder in this deep barrel. He came flying out. He said that wasn't the way, but this, well, this was it. Uh, he was really deep and he got a lot of speed, he said, but he came off with his arm in front of him and just dislocated it. And it looked sore. It wasn't like a mild dislocation. It was pretty severe. Well, we talked to one of the Water Patrol. Pomai was right next to him when he came into the beach. A little wave hit him and he was in agony. He later checked out the x-rays and he'll be okay, but tough to see him out in the first round. Number four on the charts. Another big upset. Number one coming in on the Triple Crown race. Ezekiel Lau lost in the first year of the morning. Yeah, well, I didn't expect that. Zeke has been on a roll. He surfed so, so good at sunset. But he made a priorities mistake, didn't he, Joey? We were commentating that heat. And he took off on a wave and pulled through, and he lost priority, and he needed it. He needed to have that priority. That was a huge one for Pakadowskis, moving on to the next one. But we saw Zeke lose his dream as taking the Triple Crown title. He moved up to 35th in the world after that sunset victory. That was the moment you're talking about, Ock, where he ended up losing priority, taking off on that wave, and that gave Pat the chance to answer back. Yeah, it sure did, and, and, he, and he nailed this last ride. He got really deep on the foam ball, came flying out. Look at that air. Beautiful there, great slow motion shot there too, but it was an exciting heat. Oh, a massive one for Pakadowskis. He knew he was going to have his back against the wall. He's on the road to requalification. Number three out of the top five, we see Mitch Cruz coming in as a standout. He hadn't had the chance to prove himself at Pipe, and he's changing his story into the third round already. Well, he sure did. He made it through both heats today, and he served quite well. He got better as the day went on, but he was so stoked. He said he can't get waves in for, down there in the free surfs, but in the heat, he looked comfortable. He sure did. Picked off great waves. Whenever you have a guy like Shane Dorian to surf against first thing in the morning, Mitch even said later that he was he's a bit starstruck by Shano. He's that good at Pipe, and Mitch has been looking up for him for a long, long time. He beat Shane, got a little bit more confidence, and then he took out Matty Wilkinson. Yeah, well, he did. He took out Wilco in a pretty good heat. The waves were really nice at that point of time, too. He's had a great day, and uh, who's he going to join in the next round? Oh, it's going to be crazy. With Net coming in number two on the charts here, it was the superstar from Brazil, Gabriel Medina, turns in the highest combined heat total of the day. He surfed so good, Joey. It was incredible. He had Bruce Irons, and I was thinking that would be the best hit of the day. Bruce surfed pretty good, but look at this way from Gabriel. He's got his hands in the air. He's got a 9.6 for this ride. It was not a, not deep, but it was such a beautiful way. And a day that we hadn't seen a ton of laps become scores. Medina turned it into a pipeline showdown, big carves, and then a huge moment with a barrel to air combination. Yeah, well, uh, anywhere on tour, if it wasn't pipeline, this wave was a 10. There's no doubt about it. This move right here would have been a 10 point ride because we've seen it through the year. But he got barreled and done that and only got a nine point ride. That would what's make Medina such a freak, a former quarter finalist out here as we go to number one on the charge last year's Vans Triple Crown champ gets the first perfect 10 of the Billabong Pipe Masters. Well, this wave was perfect. I mean, he rode it just because, he just rode it how it was, you know. It was it was exciting, but the wave was just perfect. You couldn't draw a better wave, and that was a 10-point ride all so day long. That Callanan was on the receiving end in this seat, but a perfect 10 for Sebastian Zietz. Tops our daily top five. He is so dangerous.